and uh, at the end of tw at the end of 2018, I kind of was just saw a shift in the industry and some things were coming up and wanted to spend more time with my kids and I was gone all the time yeah. and I was like you know what I'm just turn this hobby my, my, my plan always was to turn this into my business when I retired mm -hmm. and it's like well I don't want to retire I don't want to be the old guy you know so I just at the end of 2018 said all right we're gonna I'm gonna resign from my position and uh, I'm going to do this, and it's either going to work or it's not going to work. And if it works, it's great. And if it doesn't work, I know I can go get another job so I yep. have a great resume. Right. So three years later, we're growing leaps and bounds every year, and it's just, you know, crazy. So there's there's a cult falling for all these trucks. Absolutely. And I, you know, I, have, I have a passion for them because I've been in them since I was a tiny little kid. So How many do you have here? Well, there's probably 60 here right now. Yeah. It just depends on the day. I mean, they come and they go. We sell a lot of them. So, okay. You know, we, we sell quite a few every month, so it's, it's just kind of a revolving door. Sure. Know? But um, you two work together. Uh, Patrick here, yeah. Patrick is a good buddy of mine who runs the camera for me. I actually have a buddy of mine, Kevin, who works for me. He's not here today. He's okay. the mechanic that does the fabrication and work and stuff. So there's two of us, and then him. So yeah, two, sometimes three. <laughs> You got enough room in here. I know. And it's, and, you know, it's uh, people are a little shocked when they show up. They're like, "So there's just two of you guys, huh?" I'm like, "Yeah." It, it looks like there's a lot more, but yeah, this is as, epic. As you know, employees are tough, so yeah. But uh, yeah, we do most of the work in the winter, and then in the summer is we do a lot of picking. We go, okay. we go. I got a Peterbilt semi, and I got a 53 foot five car trailer over there, and we hook onto that and throw a bunch of money in the envelope and. Head to, head to the country in the oh, farms awesome. and drive around until the trailer's full and then come home. Take the kids. Take the kids. They love doing it. They, What's great about them is, uh, I mean, they love all this stuff and they like working and they're teenagers now, so they, they want to drive them and everything. But my favorite thing about the kids is they ask all the questions to the old farmers that I don't even think about. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll be, because they're kids, right? Mm -hmm. They just did no filter. Yep. So we'll be standing there and, you know, I'm trying to find out what's wrong with the motor, or, you know, this, that, and everything. And they're like, hey, so. Have you ever had it stuck in the mud before? <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, we had to go out hay in season one time. And then the next question out of mouth, hey, does this winch work? How much will that pull? You know, and they just, they ask all these cool questions. And the, and the old boy that has the truck, whoever it is, will uh, will tell the stories. And then all of a sudden, it's just all the stuff comes out. I'm like, oh, it's like gold, you know? And how old? 13 and 14. I got three boys. I got 14, 10, and 7. Well, they probably all know each other then. 14 year old for sure. Out in sisters? Yeah, yep. yeah. Middle school. So. Yep. They're, uh, Same they, with me. Yeah. Yeah, I know that black truck. Mm. I pass the black truck all the time. Oh, the rent. That's my truck. Okay. Yeah, that's me. But that's funny because my kid goes, Well, I know I know his dad. Oh, really? And I was like, Okay. Is it, is it your, yep. Is it your dad's truck or your grandpa's truck? So my grandfather had a. Tell me about your truck. A D. What, what, it's a three quarter ton. What year is it? Uh, well, his was a 73, I think mine's a 71. Okay. So I text my mom one day, and it was a green picture on Craigslist of this D1110 okay. four-wheel drive half ton. Okay. Same green color as this and a couple other ones. Okay. And it was this fitting image of my grandfather. See had a little camper sitting on the back of sure. it. Sure. And I just said, someday fun. And then, you know, went back to beating the hammer into the wall. Right. and. She for my birthday she walked me through the barn. She goes, Go look in the back side of the barn. Scratching my head. She buy me another dirt bike? <laughs> yeah. She bought me that damn damn old pickup truck at my grandfather's and Oh, that's awesome. Uh, within within the week I had my mother and father in law from down south and older couple, you know, I'm almost eighties. Here and sisters. Uh yeah, they came up from so SoCal. Okay. And we were at Brasada where they were at and nice. I had to get them back and forth a bunch of times, so that was, I'm always driving big pickup trucks and sure can't get grandma in there. So mm -hmm. we hopped in the international and just the stories that you get, you know, like oh, as they're, as everybody's looking at the dashboard and how things work and oh, I remember and the so stories gold. that come it's out. My favorite thing to hear when people tell a story and 
when they, especially when they have a memory that triggers off of something, like you said, a gauge or a yeah. heater control, and it triggers a memory like, oh, I used to remember riding my grandpa's truck, and I remember that heater thing. It only worked on two and one, but it didn't work on high. Or all the or, leaves that always used to yeah, blow the leaves in. that blow through the vents and stuff. Yeah, don't open that floor vent down there because that's where all the pine needles come in. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. So he only had a three and a quarter ton three on the tree. Uh, this is an automatic full wheel drive, which is better for up here. Yeah, but it's a half ton. Is a long bed or short long bed? bed. Okay. Um, and it came out of Quarter Lane, so it's pretty rust free. And it made it here from Quarter Lane into Redmond, and that's where it went on Craigslist. Some kid got it for probably fifteen hundred bucks from sure. an old lady back there, and, and drove it here, and drove it here, and then he's like, ah, I don't know. And he's like, Yeah, I'm gonna sell it. So we bought it for I think twenty five hundred bucks or something sure, like perfect. that. And, but I just want, uh, it, it hasn't been registered or plated here yet. Okay. I've got a couple of, let's just say projects, um, not as many <laughs> as you, uh, but my, you know. Hey, I've, and that whole group right there, that whole the Isn't stuff even like, yours, right? No, that's all mine, <laughs> but that all runs and drives. You can jump in any of those and bump the key and drive that's them. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's part of, we get all the stuff in here and fix everything and then put it out there and it's like, okay, everything out there, if it's parked there, it has to run it's and good. drive, it's gotta go. So that's the inventory that's for sale and stuff like that. Okay. So, yeah, we just put a tranny in this truck. So, so I'm just looking to like go through it and you know that one yeah. tank that gelled up. Yeah. Uh, what's going on with that? It's got oil leaks. Um, to tell you the truth, I want it to be my daily. Like I, I want to drive it more than anything else I own. What would be cool about that is I don't know. You're is you're a contractor or what? Yeah. Do you, okay. So what would be cool about that, and I've told a lot of people this, is you know there's two really good guys here in town that I use that are old school hot rod pinstriper and mm -hmm. logo guys. Mm -hmm. So you could have them hand paint the logos on the doors of what you want for your business, mm -hmm. and then they'll rough it all up and make it look like it's as old as the truck yeah. is, and you could have your phone number and have yeah. some stuff faded. But then what I think is great about that is you as a contractor, and I got a couple landscape guys I've done this with and irrigation guys, that's the truck they go to bid jobs in. Yep. Because when you show up in that, you you can start the conversation with a friendship instantly. With it's that like custom. Dan from Stan Stereo Planet. Yep, exactly. Drives around his dad's old F one hundred in mint condition, and yep. that's what he shows up to the million dollar jobs in. Yep, and there's and, and and you have there's no barrier between you and the customer when you show up in something cool and they yep. start a conversation with you. Yep. I and everywhere you go, everybody knows you. You know, so and it's slow, so I can't. The biggest problem is I've always asked my wife, you know, even with the trailer, can I can I put my logo on it? She's like, absolutely not. Like, you, you drive like an asshole. <laughs> I'm gonna get phone calls. There is, yeah, phone it's calls. all gonna be bad conversations. So, right. um, until yeah, until this pig is not in the conversation, it's going on something nice and slow, like you say that yeah. everybody likes, everybody looks at, and it's a conversation piece. But well, I, I want to yeah. stick it into to shows. You know, I want to yeah. just. I want to. I want to be able to take the kids on the weekend shows. I don't care how far it is. We got a car hauler. We can throw it on a car hauler. Yeah. But yeah, I've got a, a ninety F three fifty that I've had. It's only got ninety thousand miles on it. Nice. Four wheel drive. Old brick nose. It's an old brick nose, and that's what my wife and I basically met in was the same year truck. So okay. between the two of them, that's got thirty seven uh, good years. The the government good years. Yeah. Oh, the, M the MTRs. Yep. Yeah. Yeah on the old uh, Alcoa's right now. We just okay. threw an eight inch lift on it. I really want to get hot rod after that thing, but those are the, I want to take both of them on a trailer or I want to tow one with the other one Perfect. and just yeah, go, go check places out. Make sure you guys like, tag, share, and follow and help us continue to tell the stories of these trucks.